All right, folks, if you just joined us, I'm breaking down Iran, really turning up the rhetoric about blowing up Tel Aviv, showing simulated videos of missile attacks on Tel Aviv, showing simulated attacks on U.S. aircraft carriers uh, out in the uh, Gulf, out in the Persian Gulf, the Strait of Hormuz. I mean, this is really war provocation. And the, uh, you had the Iranian Supreme Military Commander, uh, you guys print me that again, last week, saying uh, we have sleeper cells inside the U.S. and have asymmetrical warfare, which we know. Which we know. And the globalists, by the way, would like to have a major war. They would like to be able to nuke Iran. So what is Iran doing? At a higher level, there's double, double dealing. The Navy wants to get its ships expanded, and that funding's coming up in about a month. The, 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 the debate's going on right now here in the U.S. Iran wants to be able to keep the fear going, or the Mullahs are 70-plus percent in major studies, you can look them up, unpopular. Iran, half of their population is under 30, and it's accelerating. They, 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 want, they want rock and roll and porno movies, folks. I mean, let's just get down to the truth here. And the point is they, they really don't like the Mullahs, okay? So that's what's going on. And I'm not even saying it's good to want Western culture, but the point is... The, 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 the Mullahs are very unpopular, so they want to have more war rhetoric. They don't want the fighting to end. The West doesn't want the fighting to end. Israel's going to be able to use this uh, as a political fodder. But it's too dangerous, folks. That's why the Joint Chiefs would not, you know, told Obama, A, the military knows it's wrong. B, we don't like funding al-Qaeda. Everybody's going public. Um, we are not going to be part of an open air war against Syria. People know the Christians are being persecuted. It's very evil to kick out Assad who's not doing anything and, 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 and who's democratizing slowly but surely and then put al-Qaeda in. I mean, no, we're going to totally lose our soft power here just from a corrupt point of view. This is very discrediting. And what happens when these al-Qaeda people get all the surface-to-air missiles they've gotten from Benghazi and other areas? Well, the Israeli top generals on the record last week, Jerusalem Post, saying they're going to attack Europe and the United States and Israel with them because they're not... They're not, they're not controlled by the West. They're turned loose, folks, like letting King Kong go in a China shop. Meanwhile, you're destroying competition, destroying our society, threatening World War III. Stop it! You people are bad for business, short-term, mid-term, long-term. Just from a prospectus, if I was a globalist, I would not be acting like you people are. You people can't even run nuclear reactors properly. They're leaking everywhere, 91% of them. You people have become delusional. You're lazy. You're control freaks. You're idiots. You have old scores to settle with Western culture you want to destroy. The globalists have, have hated Western culture that has made them powerful for hundreds of years. They hate the uppiness of it. They hate the renaissance. They hate people being free. They want to get rid of it because they always have to contend with it. Well, I'm sorry you've got to contend with competition. I'm sorry you've got to contend with innovation. I'm sorry you've got to contend with that, okay? But you do have to contend with it. And I would tell the establishment, stop trying to blow the engine of progress. You people will only bring yourselves down. You cannot bring others down and then not end up having it come back on you. You cannot win at this scenario. If you had wisdom instead of just smarts, you would look 10 steps down, not three steps down. You would see where this is leading and you would turn back now. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com.